Hey, JNAM here with a new Blender tutorial for sculpting the ear. Again I painted a reference image, I know I'm not the best painter, but quite good in anatomy. I corrected some parts of the head space mesh that we created in the previous tutorial and I uploaded all the blend files and the reference images to a new Gumroad project, the link is added to the description below, you can get it and follow along this tutorial and others that will follow. Ok, so let's start. The first thing I do is to snap the viewport to right autographic and then I drag the reference image of the ear into the viewport. Ok, here it is, then I press G to move it. Be sure to have the view snapped to autographic. Then again I disable perspective for the image and I turn down the transparency quite a bit. Ok, I move and scale it to match the position of the sculpted ear. And here you see that the outline is matching pretty good. Ok, now we can go ahead and switch to sculpt mode and kind of indicate the parts of the ear. By the way, I painted an image with the names of the different parts, it is included in the package on Gumroad. So I select the mesh in object mode, then I switch to sculpt mode and then I use the inflate brush to bring out the parts that are raised, the helix, the anti-helix. I just go over these with the brush and for the indented parts that are more sunken into the mesh, I press the control key so that I can carve into the mesh for these areas. And this is what I do to create the very basic shape. You see we have a quite low resolution, about 100,000 vertices. And when I hide the reference you see we already sculpted the basic shapes and outlines. But now we need a more dense geometry. So go ahead and press SHIFT and the R key to increase the voxel resolution. That's good and then CTRL and R to remesh. Ok, that's better, now I bring up again the reference and I continue to emphasize the mesh. Ok, now I know the shape, the contours and I can hide the reference and just add more details. I recommend to search for reference images or take photos of your own ear that you know how the different parts really look like, this helps a lot. For this I use brushes like inflate or draw and to create sharp edges I use the crease brush. I use it in both directions either to carve into the mesh, this is the default or press the control key to invert it to create sharp edges and outlines. Once you notice that the geometry is stretched too much, you can always remesh by pressing control and the R key. We are not going too much into detail at this level of resolution. I try to find the basic shapes also the kind of mid-poly details. But that's it, later on when we increase the resolution again, we will also add finer details to the ear. I also add some crease indentations at the backside and smooth out when necessary.
Ok, looks good. Now I make the reference visible again. If you like, you can adjust the shape a bit by using the grab brush. But you know, every ear is different, so it doesn't have to match perfectly. This is just a reference and when you are creating a particular character, you will also create a special ear shape. Ok guys, as I said, you can get the full projects at any stage of development so that you can follow along the tutorials and it will be extended for nose, lips, eyes and so on and the updates are free. So if you like these sculpting tutorials, let me know and if you do, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my Instagram where I upload my sculptings and also other short videos. Support me by being my patron or here as a member. And I'll see you soon in the next one here on JNM.